Hello everyone and welcome. Today I am taking a first look at one of the demos that is out on Steam right now for Nextfest, um, Exogate Initiative. Uh, we're going to be building a facility underground, uh, recruiting specialists from around the globe, um, and exploring new worlds through the Exogate. So it reminds me a little bit looking at the um, screenshots on Steam of Evil Genius 2. And that was a lot of fun, so we're going to take a look. All right, game modes. So we've got low, balanced, or high. Focus on the management gameplay. Teams will be more autonomous and rarely request your help. Balance. Provides narrative choices during missions while also giving you the space and time to build your base. High. Narrative hazards are frequent as you guide your teams through your own space odyssey. All right, I don't want them to do that needy. We're going to go balanced. All right, welcome to your first day as Executive Officer, or XO for short, at the Exegate Initiative. I'm Rudy Cobb, founder and CEO. I've dedicated my fortune to the research and development of Exegate technology, capable of sending people not just across the galaxy, but across the universe. Today, we take our first tentative steps. The world is watching us, but stay focused on your goals and we'll succeed together. Okay. All right, so that must go up and out, I guess. What's that? Are they robots? They're robots. All right, so we've got this big setup. Figure out the camera. All right, we need to build core facilities. A barracks, a minimum of 20 blocks, three beds, three lockers, a mess hall, a meal dispenser, and a mess table. Okay. Um, missions, gators. So the gators are the people, I guess. Infrastructure, alien culture, and science. Uh, build a wall, barracks, mess. Okay. So start with barracks. Do we carve it out first, I guess? Uh, I'm going to put the mess hall. Let's look at the shape of this. I'll put barracks to this side and mess hall across from it. I want to leave enough space for it to uh, expand later if I need to. I don't know how big the furniture needs to be yet either, so. Oh, so these little robots come and like break it down for us. Okay. Cute. All right, let's let them do their thing. So we have and buy extra builders. We have five thousand. We'll get when we do this. How much money do we have now? Oh, two hundred thousand. Okay. No science points. Seventy power. Influence sources. Alrighty. Oh, look at them putting the floor in and everything. Okay, so we're gonna convert this into barracks. And then put a double door in. Oh no, can I not put the... Can I not put that there now? How do I get rid of this? I need to... Undo this being barracks. How do I just make it hallway again? Hmm... Well, I mean, I guess I can do it without, uh... It's gonna need to be a little bit bigger, too, I think. Are these backwards? Oh, no, they're good. Okay. And then lockers... That one's backwards. <laughs> that one's backwards. Hopefully we can move that. All right, so I think I needed to put the door in before I built this up. Build a mess that's a minimum of 12 blocks. Okay. We'll go 16 blocks. This time I'm going to try to put the door in first. Oh, guard posts and weapon racks. I should have thought that through. That I probably would have wanted close to this door. All 
All right, can't put it down yet. Let's let them put their little flooring in. Now I can put it in, okay. So I might have to build a wall back here to do that. Um, make this the mess. And then... That should give me... Items. We need a meal dispenser, two tables. Meal dispenser. And... Oh, they like single tables? Okay. No sitting at groups for these people, I guess. Alrighty. What next? Now all that warm welcome stuff is out of the way, let's get down to business. Mr. Cobb's purse strings are notoriously loose. Thus, we at the committee are here to ensure that space exploration remains profitable. We shall monitor your progress and release funds when you achieve your goals. Next up... Find life in the universe, a difficult but profitable endeavor, wouldn't you agree? Okay, so we need to hire three scientists, build a laboratory, build a biosample containment, find signs of life on an exoplanet, collect a biosample, build a biosample study desk, and study the biosample. Okay. So this is the exogate here. So let's put the science facility here. All right, so we're gonna carve out a door here. And then it needs to be 16. Do it this big. Sign it to be a laboratory. All right, let's look at what we can put in here. So we've got, we can't do that. Uh, budget summary, okay. No patents. Okay, cool. Um, so we can put in a biosample study desk. We need one of those. And we need a biosample containment. The other thing here is a patent writing console. Okay. I gotta keep an eye on our power here. We have 35 left. All right, how do we get people? We don't have any new recruitment campaign. Okay, scientists. Uh, three scientists. Okay. I'm assuming that's how you do this. There's not really a... Wait, what does that do? Base energy is low, 15. How do I get more power? Where am I even generating power from? Where does this go? I have so many questions. <laughs> Alien culture science. Okay. Power plants. So that must be a room power plant. Yes. Okay, so we have to build one, I guess. Let's put that over here. I'm assuming that once we build it, we probably are not going to need to go into it very often. I mean, maybe to like make repairs. I'm basing this off of other games. I have no idea how it works in this one. This is now a power plant generator to power rooms and builder bots and connect more destinations to the star map. Okay. Plus 100 power. That's a lot of power. But it doesn't even cost that much money. What's the downside? I mean, these ones are obviously much better. 1,000 power for 5,000. So yeah, the amount of power you get is way better. So I'll start small. Uh, I also think it's available for hire three scientists. Um, okay. 
body, mind strength, perception, social, knowledge, and logic. I mean, I need three people and I have three candidates, so we're just going to hire them all. <laughs> Hired. All right, Emily Rodriguez. We'll hire you two. Jacob Smith. Okay, he's actually got higher perception and social skills, too. You're hired. Okay. Now what? Find signs of life on an exoplanet. How do I do that? Ah. Okay. This is Earth. Lock energy cost 15. Claim cost. No threat detected. Recommended level 1. Alright, let's connect to this planet. Uh, recommended level 2, 2, 1, 2, 1. Um, yeah, let's do the green one. Create mission. Create new team. Team badges. Okay. These are fun. <laughs> Flaming ball. Um, like this one. And there's no purple. That's a shame. Oh, this darker blue, I guess. No assignment. Start their mission. Uh, how do I assign people to it? Team requires three gators. Okay, we have three scientists. How do I assign people to it? Injury chance. Oh, man. Okay, so if I come back out to gators, now I've got this, and I can assign them here. So you have to come back out to, like, the actual management of your gators page. Now I can start the mission? Aha. There we go. Okay. So now they're doing it? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, look, here they go. They're going to get get together, all three of them. Okay, that's cool. And now they, like, phase through it. Cool. They're on this mission for six days. Okay. Okay. Exo at Suzuki. We stepped through the gate for the first time back there. After a moment of dizziness, I was suddenly standing on the surface of planet UI-724. Okay. My god, it works. Thank god you're alive. It certainly does, and I can't believe it's... I can't believe it. There's life here. This place is teeming with plant life, not to mention the incredible suns overhead. You just changed the world. We were fools to think life only existed on Earth. Friendly plant life, I hope. I wish I could see that. Uh, let's go with friendly, I hope. Affirmative. Not a triffid in sight. I'd better think of something memorable to say quickly. I had a line prepared, but this is too much. I've forgotten it. Stay calm, Tak Takoya. You're only being watched on every screen. Flat 3D <laughs> VR HD from Mumbai to the moon. Are you okay? No pressure. Remember your training. Medic. <laughs> no pressure. I think I'm hyperventilating. Oh, try and relax. You're fine. You're doing great. Maybe it's the atmosphere. We'll be encouraging. You're fine. You're doing great. I'm okay. I think I'm good, but I don't know what to say. Can I get a steer XO? Say something epic. Say something humble. Say something fun. Be yourself. Uh, say something epic. Okay, I will. Just give me a second to try and regain my composure. All right, deep breath. Take your time. We just flew through a wormhole, landed on the other side of the universe, and found alien life all in a day's work. I think you'll agree. This puts our troubles back home into perspective. Nicely done. Those words will go down in history. Thank you, XO. That was more nerve-wracking than stepping through the gate. How about getting a sample to show on the live stream? Good idea. 
We're spoiled for choice. There's a kind of grass right here at our feet. There could be mosses in that cave to the west, and to the south, there's a leafy tree hanging over the edge of a cliff. Oh, what could go wrong? Take some grass, explore the cave, and let me know what you find. Check out that tree and report when you have news. Let the viewers decide. Um. Oh yeah, there is a Twitch integration in this game where you can, I'm, I'm guessing based on the settings, let your Twitch chat vote for you. So that's interesting. Uh, let's do, these have a 60% chance. Let's do the tree near a cliff. What could go wrong? I've picked a leaf from the tree. It's now safely in the sample jar. It's rough to the touch, almost like it's covered in fur. Can't say I enjoyed climbing a tree overhanging a cliff, but it was worth it to get the sample. And the view was spectacular. Great work. The ratings just went through the roof. Now we have the sample. We can store it in the lab back at base and study it to learn more. Understood. Exo, before we sign off, why don't you say a few words about the wider goals of the initiative? Tell the world what you want to accomplish. Science first to learn as much as we can about the universe. We need more resources to sustain our way of life and we'll find them out here. I'm all about caring for the well-being of my teams and staff. We want to be the first big tech space company. Um, let's go with science first. Yes, to learn from the worlds around us with discoveries and knowledge that can help humanity. That about concludes the live stream. Care to do the call to action team leader? Yes, thank you, XO. Please follow the ExoGate initiative on your favorite social channels and watch out for more missions in the near future. We're planning to stream as many as possible. We are forging humanity's role in the universe and we want you to be there with us every step of the way. And that's a wrap. Come on home, team. Cool. All right, so he's got the bio sample. No injuries. They all got 250 XP. Nice. Okay, so they're going to come back through here? Is it going to show that? Or are they just like magically back? Oh yeah, they're just magically back. Okay. Is he studying it? Yes, he is. Studying bio sample. Okay. Perfect. So we can see like how tired, hungry. I'm guessing this is social. Is this knowledge? Rudy Cobb, holy cow, you did it. I knew we'd find life out there, but not this quickly. I watched the stream. Incredible. Those legendary first words on an exoplanet, just wow. Still, you'll need to keep the money flowing if you want to keep the committee sweet. Did I mention we can sell patents? Develop theories by studying samples from missions and then use them to publish patents. Okay. Okay, build a patent writing console, form a second team, get five scientific theories by studying samples, Write a single patent using multiple theories that will earn more than 2000 per month. Okay. We're into the long-term goals here. <laughs> All right, let's see. So this is a patent writing console. Put it here. All right, so if we're going to have more people, we're going to need to make this bigger. Can I move this bed? Um, guessing this unassigns it, this would sell it. I don't see an option to move it. Maybe once I'm in the construction mode, let's dig it out further. So I need three more people. I'm going to need to double this. Okay, we've got a much bigger barracks here. So let's go back in here and... Start a new scientist campaign for three more people. Three more scientists. Okay. Perfect. Uh, no one's currently working here. No research selected. Um, laboratory, workshop, med bay, power plant, rec room, training room. Let's do the med bay, just in case someone does come back injured. But we need 100 research points for that. We only have 38. Okay, are, are any of these within range? 400. Um, 200 for the specimen study. Okay, so we don't have nearly enough. Okay, write a patent. Bioweapon. 
based on the writer's knowledge. Okay, so this would make 1252 to 2503. Might as well start writing it. And... Can we make him do it? Do you have to pick, I wonder? Or does that randomly uh, do its own thing? I'm gonna come do that. I maybe should make this bigger too, but I'll probably wait for it to yell at me about it. <laughs> Still have enough power. We can unlock a new planet. Flame cost. 54 of whatever this is. What is that? This is also a level 1 planet. Let's connect to this one. Currency. Influence sources. Got it. Okay. All right, let's get some more scientists. This guy's good. Sure. You're hired. This one's really good. Wow, Pedro. Really good logic. He's the one we want writing our patents. <laughs> um, Letitia's good too. This guy has more social skill, but she's got more logic. Let's go with her. All right, now I need a new team. So we are going to create a mission, create new team. They can be this symbol. They can be red and their number can be two. Back out here, here. Okay, we'll go with this one, this one. And this one. Okay. Now, this one, this mission can go. Uh, experience plus seven. All right, let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? Here they go. And they're off. I am surprised that this didn't check form a second team. Like, that's what they are. They're the second team. So why didn't that uh, trigger? I might need more of these. Needs maintenance, but I don't have people for that. Because theoretically, I can send these guys, the first team, back out on another mission. 20 power to connect here, 40 power. Let's send you guys. Oh wait, are they not in the team anymore? Wait, what? Do I have to assign the team every time? Oh, that's why I didn't check off, because I didn't have them actually in a second team. Okay, cool. So you assign them the team every single time it doesn't carry over. Oh, and my little builder bot's fixing this. Okay. I see. All right, and off these guys go. Bye, guys. All right, so these ones are done in two days. These ones are done in six. Okay, these guys are back. There wasn't a whole thing here. Bio sample, bio sample. There's, look at them cheering. Okay. 
All right, so does that mean I need more of these? Might need more of those. Especially if, uh... These other guys are going to come back, too. Base energy's low. Oh, down to ten. Okay. We need... Another power thingy. I'm going to leave space in between them. I don't know if the little robots need the space to repair stuff. I just realized this one has the screen face in the wall, so... <laughs> hopefully that's not a problem. Might be worth making this bigger now with two teams. Let's do it. Let's just double this. Or at least big enough for a second one of these little research tables. Yay, they're back too! Okay, bio samples from these guys. No injuries. Wow, they got way more experience than she did. <laughs> okay. I actually like that. I mean, I don't know if they'll be pop-ups sometimes. I think that's what we got by choosing the balanced, not the extra needy. So they're not going to check in with us with like the questions every single time. Uh oh, there's no food in here. Order in progress. Okay. We need more of these. And another table. All right, this can be a laboratory. Sign that. And that. <laughs> Perfect. So the laboratory is twice as big. We've got another one of these. I threw in two more containers here. And I put in the research desk so that now we can actually research things up through here. I mean, I still don't think we have enough points for anything, but... Um, yeah, we don't have enough points for anything, but at least now we have the desk. <laughs> which will be required. Oh, what was the thing? Hold on. Patents. Expires in 12 months. Write a new patent. Uh, textile source. Old resistance. Okay. Common. Start writing. And then... Is anyone going to do that? Okay, Decoy is going to do it. Perfect. All right, he was assigned here, uh, and that's why that happened. I actually want Pedro there. His Pedro is the one with a really high logic skill. All right, let's see. Are they sleeping? What are they doing? They want entertainment, but I don't have enough to research that. Uh, let's see. We made a lot of money, even with our salaries. We still made a lot. Uh, no patents expired. This one's patent trending topics. Heat resistance food source was up. Okay. Alrighty. The rec room is 300. Yeah, 68. 132 now, though. So that means we could claim one of these. Let's see what that does. Claim that. Now what? Is that it? Okay, we don't have enough power for this. 20 energy for these. These are level 2. I don't think any of my scientists are technically level 2. We can see what happens. No threat detected. Let's do... This one's pretty. Let's do that. And we will send... Uh, oh, team level level 2. Let's send the red team. Perfect. Red team actually became our original team because of the way they got switched when I hired new people. So technically, even though blue team existed first, they all moved to red team and then blue team got the new people. I like that these guys just kind of run around repairing stuff without me having to worry about it. Is he not wearing any clothes? They stripped down to sleep? Okay. Oh yeah, look, her too. All right, 
that these guys are going. And they're off for six days. That used up the rest of the power that we had, so I uh, put in another generator thingy. Now, this still has a sample in it, so why are they not studying it? Um, idle, why? Like, why aren't you going to study this? I can't really see how I could do anything other than sell it. Okay, we'll keep writing patents. We want the one that's going to make more than 2000 a month. I feel like we're getting there with Paige or writing them. This one was... Uh, I already forgot, but it was close to that. All right, and they're back. Some stuff for each of them. <laughs> Cheering, okay. All right, so they're putting their samples away, I guess. Yeah, see, they went right to researching these ones. Hmm. Um, yeah, so we've got one for 1300, one for 1190, one for 1241. We need one single patent that's going to be worth more than 2000. Okay, new common patent theory for radiation resistance and a new common theory for energy source. Oh, okay, that checked it off. So we just have to get a single patent for more than the 2000. Um,. Up to 2,000. Oh, man. He'd have to be, like, right at the very top. <laughs> he's our best scientist, so maybe, but I don't think he's going to get, like, the highest level of pricing available. Maybe. They're still not doing this. <laughs> like, do this. Something's consuming the science points. What's consuming the science points? Uh, yeah, see, it was just a common one, so it was only 1105. It was the bottom end. Ooh, new rare patent theory for energy source. That might do it. 15 to 31. We'll try it. Yeah, like, is she doing something on her own? Oh, yeah, look, she was. Like, I want them to do this. Oh, cannot be researching the demo. Oh, okay, well, then never mind. Do whatever you're going to do. <laughs> I was wondering when we were going to run into the limits of the demo. Oh, did we make it? Uh, no, 1600. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to get to have to be a lot higher level. All right, let's send them off again to, let's go to this one. And we will send red team there. And then... Let's connect this one. This is a level one. So we can send blue team there. And we'll get more samples. Because we're out of stuff to research now. Well, there's still whatever's in this one. I don't know why they're not using it. They used all the other stuff. Alright, team one, go! Technically you're team two. Red team, go! Oh, this one. Looks like they want my help on this one. XO2 to base. I think we're trespassing on a crime scene, XO. Or the set of a vampire movie. We're standing in the middle of a meadow and there's blood everywhere. Our boots are covered in it. Describe the flowers. Are you sure it's blood? I don't like that. Get out. Are you sure it's blood? 
I'd say I'm 50% sure XO the color and consistency match, but to be scientifically accurate, more analysis would be needed. We don't have time for this. Continue the mission elsewhere. No, get out now. Cut a plant and sample it. Sample the blood. Let's take the blood. We don't have a scientist on the team, XO, but we'll study it the best we can. What do you mean you don't have a You're all scientists. Fail to test. Okay. Uh, stay as long as you need. Hey, sure thing. Any last orders? Don't call back saying you've done an autopsy. Okay. They're a team made up entirely of scientists, and it said we didn't have a scientist. Okay. Perfect. And blue team is lining up for their turn to go. Okay, red team needs his help again. Greetings from the Dracula planet. Seven days, but it felt like an eternity. Let's not talk about this nickname. Status? No threats have appeared. Good. What about the sample? We collected a large jar of blood to analyze it. One of us fainted, but they will remain anonymous. They're okay now. Well, hematophobia is a thing. Yes, it really is. However, the blood is in fact sap and the algae a seaweed. It's crimson because it's feeding on red clay composed of corroded minerals. That doesn't explain why the sap was outside the plant. Seaweed means water. Uh, water? Good point. And thanks to our research, we've been able to corroborate that this whole place used to be an ocean. The seaweed's been drying for centuries. First it turns red, then sap oozes from its stripes and blades. By the end of the process, only a pool of sap remains. So it dried and dried, dried and died out in the sunlight, just like a vampire. Now you mention it, yes, exactly like a vampire. I guess we starred in our own vampire flick after all. And the award goes to XO2. <laughs> Gee, thanks, XO. Don't let it go to your head. XO out. Uh, waiting new instructions and mission. Okay, cool. 95 science points. Nice. No samples. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing, but I really needed more samples. Oh no, they have medical conditions, starvation, and sleep deprivation. Oh, these guys are back. Okay, they brought back samples. Sweet. Alright. Hopefully one of them gets some good research. But they're tired. <laughs> oh, look at Pedro doing the work. Hey, just holding down the whole team. A rare patent theory for medical treatment. Okay. All right, well, that's what he's going to be doing next. And then a common patent theory for heat resistance. All right, let's do the rare one. 1500 to 3000. What is, what's wrong with you? What's the symbol that you're flashing? Oh no, needs a med bed. Uh-oh. We don't have a med bed. <laughs> uh, you're just gonna have to suffer, because I don't even think I could research that. Alright, let's see what happens with this patent. Oh, this one was only 1682. <laughs> We're getting closer, but it's definitely a long way off. We're making 8500 a month on our patents. But uh, it's, I think, going to be a while before they're leveled up enough to get that 2,000 in one patent. And now a couple of them need med beds, <laughs> so uh, red team's not doing so great in that regard. I was able to switch even in the demo to researching med bay. We just don't have enough points. But I think this is where I'm actually going to call this. I got a really good feel for the game overall. I really enjoy it. I like this aspect of like going to other planets and getting research material to write patents. I like that it reminds me so much of Evil, Evil Genius, but instead of like criminals, it's scientific study. Um, it's not super handholdy. Like I, a lot of this, it didn't really explain to me the layout and what was going on. Uh, but if you've played this kind of game before, like it didn't take me too long to click around and figure it out. So it's also like a pretty user-friendly UI setup uh, if you're familiar with this type of game. So I really enjoyed it. The demo is out right now for free on Steam for Next Fest. There will be a link in the description uh, to the Steam page. And if you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more of this game when it comes out, let me know in the comments. 
please like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And until then, have a good one, everybody.